Hey friends, we got uh, a little video we're going to do today and I'm going to be up here working on the uh, ladder while I do this uh, little talk. I'm going to be talking a lot about, sorry about the wind, there's a lot of wind, it's a really windy day, it's kind of cool, it keeps the heat down, temperature a little bit lower, but wind noise is probably not going to be so great. I'm going to be doing some uh, kind of a self question and answer thing about why we build this cabin, why we're working on this property still after five or six years of building this thing. But first off, I just want to thank you for your subscribership. Look, it means a lot uh, that uh, you guys subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Um, and I always look forward to reading the comments. So if you have any questions about the property, the cabin, what we're doing, I'm not going to tell you exact locations or anything like that, um, but I'm going to kind of let you in a little bit more insight. We're going to have a little, a little chat today on uh, on uh, maybe why we're working on it, why I'm working on this cabin, why I continue to do it, what keeps me going on it. Um, maybe some of the future goals. I don't know all the future goals of this place yet, but um, maybe just a little bit of insight on, uh, on why we're doing what we're doing. I'm gonna take a look and see what's going on here. And in the meantime, we can have a little conversation. So this sealer kind of hardened up on me and started cracking. So I got this stuff right here called Vulcum and it's been in the car for a long time. So this is the stuff I put around the windows. Oh yeah, it's still soft. This is legit stuff. This is good. So I've been thinking a lot, well, a lot, a little bit over the last few months as to why why we do this channel? Why am I building this cabin? You know, why am I even doing this? You know, you got to understand a lot's changed since we started this cabin project. You know, when we started this project, we didn't have any kids. Now we have two kids. And they're a lot of work. I know people always say kids are a lot of work. And you think, yeah, they're going to be a lot of work, but they really, we have two really energetic little kids and the reality is I just don't have the time to get some of these projects done as quick as I used to be able to, I don't think. I'm still pr plugging away at them, but <clears throat> that's kind of just in general. But the thing is, things are things have changed. I mean, <clears throat> they have a lot more, they demand a lot more attention and things just have to go slower with the cabin. But the question still stands, why are we even building a cabin? Why am I continuing on the project? And I've been thinking about that for a while now. That looks pretty good. I've been thinking about that for a while. It's a lot of work. It takes up a lot of vacation time. And, you know, we don't really stay in it much yet. You can't, it's not done. There's a lot of, one of the reasons I'm filling these cracks is because last, last fall, a ton of flies and wasps are getting in and it was just out of control so I'm kind of taking care of this it's something I put off but why are we doing this why, are we, why am I building this cabin and the first answer the first reason I think is simple I enjoy it I think it's fun to do I like building stuff with my hands I always have um, and to be honest with you, I work in an office all day with very little natural light in front of a computer doing creative work for people. And it, I enjoy the job. I enjoy the company. It's a great company to work for. We do really well with it. Um, they pay me well. I'm super happy with that. We have a nice house at home where we live. But, um, this, you know, is like dessert, you know, like I, I get a, uh, I kind of get a kick out of coming up here and, and uh, it's such a change, you know, to come up here and work 
outside and you know the wind's blowing right now the conditions aren't aren't perfect for filming and everything but you know it's it's such a nice place it's relaxing it's like you know I just simply enjoy working on it I like building stuff and you know it's one of those things that I think about all the time you know when I'm at work it's like I think about you know what kind of project could I do on the cabin what could I finish you know what could I improve on it what would make it you know nicer and it's like people who know me know that I like to work on this cabin it's just it's therapeutic that's one reason um, Trying to get that hole up there. There's a big hole. Right there, yeah. So that's there's that's one reason. Just simple. I like it. I like working on it. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. What's another reason I work on this cabin? Because it's not always easy and not every single project is fun. For me, I don't like doing detail work. Okay? That's that's in everything. That's that's in life. I, I, I like to start projects and I hate to finish them. All right. So this project is sort of teaching me to finish it, to finish the project. All right. And the reason you have to finish it is because if you don't finish it, you can't stay in it. It's not real nice to stay in because there's stuff getting in, bugs, it's cold or hot or whatever. You know, it's easy and kind of fun and fast to put up walls. I mean, I enjoy, I really enjoyed, you saw the, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know, we started out in, in our old house in, a, in the garage and I built this thing and that was super fun. That was exciting. It was different. I was able to see results really quick, you know, when I put it up. It was like instant satisfaction, you know? We could put it up there and we raised the walls. You saw, you, you can go back and watch some of the first videos that we did on this channel. And we put the walls up super fast. It was like, wow, this thing is going together quick. And, you know, that, that was exciting. I liked that. But the hard part, and people always say it, and that's why it's so expensive. I never really understood why. But the hard part's the trim. You know, do stuff I'm doing right now, going through and taking my time, fighting them, fighting them, the wasps and the bees and all the other stuff out here that's trying to attack me the whole time. And doing the finish work, sealing it up with a good quality sealer. You know, you can tell I kind of did it halfway with sealer before and it didn't work. It just didn't, it just it's, it hasn't held up over the years. So I'm having to go back and kind of do it again right now. And uh, so it's teaching me to finish the project that I started. When I do work for people, I'm responsible for the concepts. That's what industrial design does. And de designers do is we come up with a bunch of ideas and 95% of them don't see the light of day, right? It's a fun job. It looks really fun. It's entertaining to watch people draw stuff all day. You know, kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a sideshow activity. But the reality is I want to be able to do something that, that I can control the outcome of it. And so that's one of the other things that's fun about this project. Okay, what's the other reason? What's some other reasons that we... Because, you know, it'd be easy to give up or, you know, we have kids just kind of do something else. and You know, sometimes we end up doing that and just kind of goofing off and that's fine. You need vacation time to goof off and we do plenty of that. But the other reason... So you got to understand when we bought this property, okay, so... We bought this property when we were in the middle of the Great Recession. I was working at a big company doing design work for them and I watched 
I watched as, you know, every, I don't know, so often, several times. Um, the economy was really bad. The company was doing bad. And I watched as, you know, 20%, you know, there was a call out for 20% of the people in your department to get laid off by the end of Friday at five o'clock. I saw that several times. We picked up a house, next thing you know, it's underwater for the next seven years, six, seven years, probably, probably even closer to eight, eh, probably seven. And really nothing had changed. So what we did was we knew we wanted it, and we're, we're living in Oregon and where we still live. Um, but we knew that we wanted to find some property. Um, that wasp, where is that guy going? I think he's getting out of there. So we knew that we wanted to find some property that was in uh, Idaho. You know, her parents live here, um, so family was here, that's fine. It's also a state that has similar values to us, uh, conservative values. Um, you know, Oregon just keeps doubling down on weird stuff. I've talked about that in other videos, but um, we wanted a place that, that, you know, in the future, if we wanted to move there, move somewhere else or retire or whatever, it'd have low taxes, low cost of living, uh, conservative values, um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, constitutional values, that type of stuff. So we settled on Idaho. We, 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 liked the, we liked the state. And then we found an area that we liked. So, um, you know, we're in northern Idaho. I'm not going to tell you where exactly. You could probably figure it out if you tried hard enough, but I'm um, not super secret about it. But um, so we knew we wanted to find something. So we saved up a bunch of money in spite of everything that was going on economically and at the company. We saved and saved and saved for years and years. And then, and then we... Uh, we, it took us a good year or two to find this place. And instead of getting nervous about the economy, we, we, took it, we used it to our advantage. We saved up enough cash, and we've always been pretty frugal and fiscally responsible with our money. I had a lot of student debt uh, coming out of school. Praise the Lord, last year we paid it off. Uh, Mrs. D2S and I wanted to invest in property because we knew we could get a good deal on it. And then we found this spot, long story short, we found this spot... Um, kind of, I was almost given up, and Mrs. D2S was like, let's go look at this place. I know it seems like it'd be a good place. We ended up getting a really good deal on it um, from a guy who just needed to sell, you know, some parcels to raise some money to develop some of it. So we found this property, and we were really happy to find it. And again, that was before we had kids and everything. But we found this place, and, you know, the third reason that I continue to work on it is to kind of hedge, to kind of wrap this up, is, to, is that we can kind of hedge against economic circumstances, job situations. You know, if we had to crash up here for a week or two, or maybe a month, if we had to, it'd be pretty miserable with two, two little kids who are, you know, pretty energetic nowadays. That'd be kind of a stretch, but we could do it. We could stay up here, but I'd have to finish up some stuff. It'd give me time to work on it. Um, but what it does is it gives you a little bit of, I don't know what the word is, maybe economic security. You know, we do have a little bit of the prepper mentality in us. So we've always done that. You know, we did a lot of gardening back at our other, our other house and we know how to do that. Self-sufficiency, that's a good thing. You know, we like that kind of stuff. So um, for me, it's just kind of a way that says, hey, look, if something happens, we got a little place to go. We own it with cash. Nobody can take it away from us unless we like, you know, went bankrupt, I suppose they could take it. So as long as I can sell the main house, we'd be fine for a while. So it kind of hedges against economic hardship because we do own it cash. All right, so guys, my battery's running a little bit low. Um, I got a few more of these, well, quite a few more of these to do. I got to take care of some wasps up here, but I hope that kind of gives you some clarification on what we're doing up here and why we're doing it. Um, had to kind of think through it. Point is, I love being up here. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy uh, coming up to the property and coming up to the cabin. I also thoroughly enjoy making videos. I, I probably meant mentioned that before, but. Um, whenever I come up here, I'm always inspired to do some cool video to show you what's going on. I really appreciate uh, you subscribers, the guys who stick with it, stick, who, who've stuck with the channel. 
Um, there's a few of you I hadn't, haven't heard from for a while. It's probably my fault because we kind of get sidetracked by other stuff. But point is we always have a good time doing this and I always look forward to uh, making videos about the property and about our, uh, our work on the cabin. So thanks for your support. It's amazing to me that we got several thousand people, almost seven, several thousand people who watch this channel um, and are interested and it's always kind of humbling to know that. So, um, you know, we always look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments and I try to do my best to respond. Sometimes I can't get to them, but, um, you know, right now we're a small channel, so it's easy to interact. Send me a message if you want to have, if you have a question about anything. Um, I'm really bad at looking at the private messages there. It's really poorly done in, uh, in, in YouTube. So it's always, I always forget to look cause I, there it's all tucked back into these menus. So, but nonetheless, I try to check those. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one guys.